Hey folks, this is Joe from Joe's Smokehouse and Barbecue. Today we're going to do some barbecue chicken and some andouille sausage on our Santa Maria grill. Over a wood fire today, we're going to be using hickory wood and charcoal. So, and I've also got the seasoning, Everglades Fish and Chicken. I usually put this on um, my smoked chicken, but I'm going to try it on my uh, leg quarters today. I'm dying to see what it'll do over the barbecue. I know it's great smoked. So let's get started putting our rub on our chicken. I got the, I pulled the skin back a little bit to get this meat really good in here too. And then I just throw some on top and on the other side. This stuff, guys, if you never tried it, I know that public supermarket sells it. I don't know who else sells it. Maybe somebody else online. I'm not sure. But uh, check it out because I tell you what, it is awesome stuff, especially smoked. I haven't tried it, like I said, on the barbecue yet, but we're going to. And when we do the taste test tonight, I'll let you know how it is. But get it really good down in there. Get it in that meat. Don't be afraid to put it on there because that's where all the flavor's at. I don't know if you ever cooked over wood fire, but I'm telling you something. It's awesome. You'll really like it. And that Santa Maria grill is awesome. If you don't have one, what it is, it's a Weber attachment to a... It's a, it's a Santa Maria attachment to the Weber grill. And boy, I'll tell you one thing. That's one of my go-to grills now when I cook out. I love it. It goes up and down, and I'm telling you, you can you cook direct, indirect. It's awesome. Okay, we'll flip these over, get the back side. Okay, we'll flip these back over, see if we miss any little spots here. Yeah, we'll get a little bit more, guys. I want to taste that flavor. And like I said, definitely try this. It's really good stuff. My mother's the one who turned me on to it. Bless her soul, I'll tell you. Thank God she did, because it's great stuff. Okay, guys. Next time you see it, me, I'm going to be out on the uh, grill showing you how to cook these. Okay, guys. We're at our Santa Maria grill. We're going to put our chicken on today. We're going to go bone side down first over this wood fire. We're also going to go ahead and get our sausage on too. I'll probably pull these a little bit earlier because we're not going to take as long as our chicken. So, I'll go ahead and stick these on. And I'm up a little higher right now because I want to go a little more indirect. I don't really want to cook them right down on the fire and burn anything right, right off the bat. So we're just going to let these things just cook a little bit and we'll get back with you a little bit further in the cook. Okay guys? Guys, I'm going to go ahead and give these chickens a flip. They're about ready right now. You know, years ago, guys, I used to cook these chickens and go skin side down first. But over the years, I've noticed that um, when I do go bone side down, that it seems to draw, the heat seems to draw the rub or seasoning down into the meat. And that's what I've kind of stuck with. You can almost see the uh, rub from the heat just penetrating down into the meat and I think that's a better way to cook them personally. I mean I've done them both ways and I think this way I'm going to stick with because I think this is the best way to do it. Okay we're bringing out a little fur along to cook but boy I'll tell you what they're looking really awesome. I can't wait to eat this guys. Okay guys I just wanted to see let you see the color on these before I sauce them up. They're, they're, they're absolutely perfect. So we're going to put a little barbecue sauce on them now. Oh wow, I know these are going to be tender. I took a little probe and probed them, they're like, they just like going through butter. I can't wait to taste them off this wood fire. It's been my first time I've actually had chicken on a wood fire. Years ago I did, but up here when I moved to Tennessee, this be the first time. So I can't wait to see what it tastes like. Okay, we're going to let these go for a couple seconds here. We're going to flip them. And then we're going to bring them inside and we're going to taste test them. So see just a little bit. Okay, guys, we got our chicken and our andouille sausage all plated up. And we made some um, apple slaw today. So I tell you what, guys, I, just, I really want to delve into this. I just can't wait to eat this. This has been over a wood fire today over some hickory and charcoal. And it turned out fantastic. And I, I used the uh, Everglades fish and chicken as seasoning, as actually as a rub. And I want to taste. I've never done it before. I want to taste what it tastes like. So we're going to do it right now. 
first I said, we'll have a piece of sausage. My wife's already had a piece. She said it was outstanding. Had a little bite to it, so we'll see. Mm. That's better than that kibasi, Emery. Oh, ten times mm. better. It's got mm. just it's a, a little, little bit of heat. A little back in. And I can taste that wood fire. Absolutely. Oh, That's yeah. That's really good stuff right there. You can tell the difference between charcoal and the wood. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you did it strictly over charcoal. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's really tasty. Wow, that's got a little bite to it, don't it? It does, it's really good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, guys, here's my chicken. I can't wait to take a bite of that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. See some tenderness? Look at that. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna see if I can taste that fish and chicken. Mm. Wow. Yep. I'll tell you what, I beat salt and pepper, anything. I'll tell you what, I will definitely use that fish and chicken again. Amber, you wait till you taste that. Mm. It's outstanding. Mmm. Gosh. Yeah, it looks moist. Mm. Well, guys, that's all I've got for you tonight. I appreciate it if you subscribe to me. It's free. People sometimes write in my comments, I subscribe to you, but it costs me money. I said, no, it's free. So, and also smash that like button, guys. And there's a bell, notification bell with my new uploads. Click on it and you can see it. And guys, I want to tell you, I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. The comments are fantastic. And if you ain't a grilling, you ain't a chilling.